Hi, within this lecture we're going to create our first connection. So first of all let me save this file as a Python file. I'm going to call this my socket. You can call it whatever you want like my backdoor or my Trojan. It really doesn't matter. Okay, and of course we have to import the socket library as well. And this is not color coded, uh, so maybe I forgot to put .py, yeah, I have to put .py in order to specify this is a Python file only. So now, first of all, we're going to have to create our own instance for socket class. And after that, remember, we have to specify the AFINet and the port number and the IP number of the Kali Linux. So let me show you how to do it. So I'm going to call this instance my connection and this is going to be derived from socket, this one, dot, and again socket dot socket. Okay. And in here you have to say AFINet and then the suck stream respectively. So remember we have seen this in the documentation we have to specify the family address and then the way of sending the data. So you have to say socket dot AFINet okay with capitalized letters AFINet and with a comma socket dot sock stream and we're going to discuss this stream later on. What does it mean to send the data with stream? And after that, now we are done with our connection, we have to specify the IP address and the port that this connection is going to be going through. So in order to do that again, we're going to use my connection variable, my connection instance, and that connect method. Okay, so this will initialize the connection. And of course we have to specify the IP address. And remember the IP address of our Kali Linux machine is 10.02.15. Okay, so let me write it down this way with another parenthesis here and with quotation marks as a string 10.02.15. And with comma, we have to just say port number and for port number I will use ADAD and you can use ADAD but if you're using ADAD for another purpose you can use another port as well like 444455555 something that hasn't been used or not in current use anyway okay so maybe you have to change this ADAD on your own computer. So after doing this, actually we are now ready to test our connection and in order to do that I'm going to use another method called dot send. So I'm going to say my connection dot send and I'm going to send a message actually. Because why? Because we have to be sure that this connection has been established. So I will say connection OK. Okay, you can say whatever you want. Now let me save this file and let me go back to Kali Linux because we have to be listening this connection. And at this point we didn't write any listener yet. However, maybe you remember something called netcat and this lets us listen any incoming connections with any port. So I'm going to be using netcat before we write our listener, but netcat will not be sufficient when we complete our backdoor, so we're going to be building our own listener like I said before. But for right now, for test purposes only, I'm going to use netcat. And in order to use netcat, you write nc, okay? And if you do dash dash help or dash h, um, it will show you the documentation. And it's very easy to listen on incoming connections. 
with netcat actually all you have to do is just say nc-l for listening and dash p to specify the port number and remember our port number is 8080 and you just have hit enter so it means that listen any connection coming from port 8080 so let's go back and try to run this code so let me type cmd to open my command prompt in here and i have to use my python interpreter that i have downloaded before so let me go to cd desktop and if you say dir you will see that this is located in desktop now let me open my notes from here remember we have taken notes in order to remember where our python interpreter is located in our computers so let me open my notepad and copy 2.7 first later on we will see if this is compatible with python 3 as well so let me just uh, start this with python 2 so let me paste this and then you have to specify the python file that you want to run with this python.exe so if you type dot python then as you can see this got executed now let's go back to kali linux and as you can see now we got the connection back from windows so we managed to send data from windows to the kali linux and this was our primary goal so we have managed to send the first string data then we're going to of course build upon on that and create our backdoor with this logic and before we finish according to the documentation it's a good idea to close the connection after you're done with it so let me go back to my code and after this send method i'm going to say my connection dot close after that you can save this file and we're going to stop in this here and within the next lecture we're going to see how we can execute commands that are written in Kali Linux but we're going to execute them in Windows machine.